The kitchen is truly the heart of the home. Joining us on Skype to share ways to add life into that space is author Susan Sully. So what are ways to make the kitchen as homey as the rest of the house? So you're not walking from this warm, cozy living room into this stark white kitchen. Right. Well, actually, an architect I was speaking with said, when the kitchen is really the home, the hearth, the center of the house, you want it to correspond with the rest of the house. So it's good to use materials that really are similar to materials you would use in the rest of the house. You know, pretty fabrics and decorative pieces, artwork. You know, you don't want to skimp on that. A table lamp, things that really bring the kitchen into the rest of the house and make it feel like a room you want to be in, not just cook in. So you talk about bringing fabrics in, which I totally agree aesthetically, but you know, I've got three kids under three at home. So I'm not gonna put like fancy upholstery fabric. What fabric should I use that will actually be easy to care for? One of my favorites is pleather. <laughs> you know, I think pleather, plastic leather, it looks fabulous. It comes in a lot of different colors. And you can even use white or beige, which pretty much you couldn't get away with any other fabric in your kitchen in white or beige. Um, I've seen people use heavy duty shower curtain fabric, actually. <laughs> Because, it, you know, it's shiny. You can wipe it right off. It's great if you have kids and it comes in bright colors. You can use cotton duck, you know, a heavy cotton. Get something a little dark and with a pattern and use a ton of Scotch Guard, And you can use that. So, you know, there are a lot of options. Just, just you know, know you're probably going to have to replace it after two or three years. So just don't spend too much on it. Susan, you had me a shower curtain. I'm doing all my kitchen furniture and shower curtains and hosing it down when the kids are done. <laughs> oh, well... What are some rugs that we can use? Because I have a, a bare floor and everything just gets dirty. What can I do on my floor? Well, you know, a rug is going to get dirty too. So number one, don't buy an expensive rug. Right. But I think, you know, if you get a rug, durries or kilims, which are flat weave rugs with pattern in them, are great because they're easier to clean. They don't show dirt. They don't show stains. Just be sure you put a good rubberized rug pad underneath it so you don't slip on it. Uh, that's I've had that happen to me more times than I want to admit. <laughs> Um, also, you know, there are a lot of great synthetic rugs out now. They're like indoor, outdoor rugs. And sometimes they look like coir or jute, like a natural material. Sometimes they look just, you know, like a patterned rug. And they're really, you can take them out in the backyard and hose them off after they've gotten dirty. So th that's just two good ideas. Susan, thanks for all those great ideas. I love all the hosing off in the kitchen. That's like perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us.